He's still in the attendee list. Oh. Oh. All right, I tried. And... All right. Okay. Show you need to have... Yeah, all right. We're good. Okay, we... we can everyone hear me? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Madam Chair. Dean, I want to first start by thanking you for getting back to me about the public comment discussion. Um, before I get to my other item, I want to speak for the chair and say that I one of the reasons why I come at these meetings is to stick up for Dr. Barry. Uh, I find many of the comments and attack, frankly, personal attacks on Dr. Barry uh, offensive and hurtful as someone who depends on public health. We need our Dr. Fossey. We need our Dr. Barry. We need to center the science. And as you may have noticed, I'm celebrating that our wonderful president, and our, one year since our wonderful president was inaugurated, that our president and Dr. Barry have done everything they can to, quote, set aside the politics and finally face this pandemic as one nation. I really want to commend Dr. Barry for doing that today, and that's one reason why I get on these calls. Uh, and I really appreciate the chair when the discussion about structuring public comment today, because I think that we need to have some civility in these calls, and that it may be better just to put some you know, discussion to the end of the meeting. The second thing is, and the main reason why I'm here today, is that it has come to my attention that the Washington State Parks Commission is planning a risky and potential super spreader event in your county for 26th, 27th January. Um, I am also a member of the Oak Harbor Navy League Council, and I don't speaking personally. Uh, that council intends to send people from another county, namely Island County, and possibly Skagit County, to your county. And it's not clear to me if there will be vaccine verification. It's not clear to me what the, what the Parks Commission will define as symptoms. This is a very, very risky situation, not to mention for the board. This could put political pressure on you to go to in person before Dr. Barry recommends it. And I really hope that the board and Dr. Barry will push back against this for the safety of my colleagues on the Navy League Council and for the general public in your wonderful county. I want to stop there and again just say thanks again, Dr. Barry, for all you're doing and uh, thanks to the board for your continued commitment to taking public input. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Mr. Kunzler. And then I wanted to uh, give my thanks to Mr. Kumser for bringing that meeting to uh, our attention. Um, I do certainly intend to reach out. Um, I, I don't recommend large indoor public meetings right now. Um, we certainly experienced in cloud where we were still doing in-person meetings, um, but those can get out of control real fast. Um, and especially if you have folks not masking in indoor settings, um, that can lead to a lot of transmission. So uh, we'll be happy to reach out to them and see if there's some uh, technical support we can provide to make that uh, a safer option for everybody. Thank you, Dr. Berry. Can I ask a question? I know that the state Senate and the state uh, house, they have different protocols for, for their meetings right now. Um, and I'm just curious, does the Parks Department have a protocol for meetings? That would be my first question, because if they don't, they certainly should. And then my second one would be, does the state health officer have any jurisdiction over these protocols at all? I mean, does he, do they have input on them? Um, because I don't think we hear much about uh, the Parks Commission in general. So I, I, it seems like that would be really good information for us and for the public. Now, I don't know what their current protocols are, so that would be part of that, that outreach. Because they may have a great plan that we just don't know mm -hmm. about. Um, right. And so we're, we're verifying that. Um, but I think also uh, sharing our experience about how the best laid plans uh, can go south if you get too many people uh, planning to rush into an indoor space. Um, as far as input, the state health officer uh, often uh, does have input and is consulted on state-related plans, so actually doesn't have as much um, uh, authority as local health officers. Um, the Secretary of Health in that state um, has the ability to, to make orders about public needs. Thank you. 